When inspiration hits, a change is about to come. The word fixed has been embedded in the solar system of my personal makeup. What that means is that my personality has a trait that has a challenge with change. Changes in location, changes in look. Actually, I can handle this one, especially with clothes. With this particular one, it tells me what change looks like, the final product. And finally, a change in what I have always done versus a change in way. What I'm speaking about is that everything in my life where change can either make a difference or wreck havoc, my standing tall stance, in yoga it's mountain pose, gets a rug pulled beneath its feet and then topples over. And no matter how reluctant I can be, it is inevitable. A change is coming. Interestingly, my doll business is not exempt from change appearing. Because I have difficulty in handling changes, the archangels have taken pity on me. Yes, pity, because they could see each time without fail that I would lose my stance and topple over, rolling on the floor in disbelief of what just happened. So what the archangels did is that they sent change through inspiration to help me. As in the movie Mary Poppins, Mary sings, a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. I want to share with you what specifically happened in my business where change occurred recently and how inspiration helped guide me through change without falling and toppling over. For my business, a part of my vision includes applying a meditative, ethereal, imaginative, and inspiring atmosphere. This describes the longevity and building of fresh ideas for my doll business. As I mentioned before, I have a fixed trait in my personal makeup, unbending to the presence of changes. An example of this was my many years with a specific company. My business was receiving a web service from a hosting company. I have been with them for over seven years. They are very good for small businesses. They had various template websites that were made easy for small business owners and artists such as myself to add photos, text, and other designing factors with no problem. I loved it. I felt I was in control of my own content without having to worry about asking someone to do it for me. That was just my preference. And I like making products, so it's the same with my website. Full stop here. Let me fast forward. I started reading Steve Jobs by Walter Isaacson. An excellent book. There are many things one can learn about the one founder of Apple. The other founder was his friend, Steve Wozniak. But what I found inspiring of this book was the way in which Steve Jobs would apply his inspiration not only to his products, but to his vision for the company. According to this book, Steve Jobs loved and was drawn to masterful architecture, cars, appliances, that he felt had a pure and impeccable, flawless design to them. Not only on the outside, but the inside, even down to the mechanisms that are not seen. He applied his appreciation for great design for the inside and out of Apple's many products, such as the iPhone, iPad, iPods, and Mac. All were made with perfection. But what I found even more extraordinary is that the expectation of this perfection was asked of other companies that interfaced with Apple. In other words, Apple's strong values were part of its image, and they looked for business relationships that would further strengthen or represent the same values of Apple, not the other way around. That is when inspiration came in the middle of my living room floor and announced softly, a change was coming. With the use of the website company, my pages look like a museum, or a better suited description would be an antique store. That was not my vision, but using what I had, I imagined that this is what it would be, based on the look and surroundings of the pages. The background was blue, I love blue, it's in my logo, and there was a crystallized image of an orb embedded in the background. It was nice because I gave it the symbol of imagination, but you could not change that. It remained that way, no matter what. I say that my pages look like a museum or antique shop because based on the sizes of the pages, 
everything was in close proximity to each other. In other words, it looked cluttered. My real and whole idea was that potential customers could visit my website without feeling overwhelmed. I wanted a wonderful experience for my customers and potential customers. I wanted it almost a meditative and calming atmosphere, but I ignored these visions and qualities. I sacrificed them and ignored the nagging feeling that this may not be what I want. We, meaning my business and me. As much as I love the web company I was with, I finally realized that although it gave me the ability to create and design, other parts of my website was not changeable. I put that in quotes, changeable. I was not really able to express my vision fully. I had been trying to apply my vision to something that already had its own, and it was not fully compatible to mine, except for being able to use it. So with reluctance, as change came in after inspiration, that after seven years, I decided it was time to change my website company. I had looked into the company's other options, but none prevailed as a good reflector of my vision. So with a pair of wobbling legs, I searched for a new company that would be better suited for my doll business and for my vision. I guess you would say that this was my aha moment. I finally understood through the book I read of Steve Jobs, what it meant to apply one's vision to everything you did for your business and the restrictions of trying to apply other companies' visions to fit your own can be detrimental to one's business and to the growth that the business has the ability to achieve. My new website is a wonderful place where I'm given a blank slate and I can build according to what I want to see my business look like to the world. I'm sure my vision will most likely change over time, but no matter, as long as my vision is being articulated fully. So then, I guess change is not so bad after all. Oh, I wobble a bit, and even grumble, but I know in my change of mindset that it's going to be prosperous, and has been thus far.